Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to take a close look at the Basset Hound Dog Breed. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you really enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog-related content. Also, if you're struggling to train your dog or are thinking about getting a puppy, then affordable online professional training is what we suggest. See the link in the description and the pinned comment for more info. Origin and History The Basset Hound is a short-legged breed of dog in the hound family. The Basset is a scent hound that was originally bred for the purpose of hunting hare. Originally used to trail hares, rabbits, and deer, it has also been used in hunting birds, foxes, and other game. Bassets were commonly found with French monarchs, but they became hunting dogs of commoners after the French Revolution. The Basset type originated in France, and is descended from the 6th century hounds belongs to Saint Hubert of Belgium. The name Basset is derived from the French word, ba, meaning low, with the suffix et together meaning rather low. Their sense of smell and ability to ground scent is second only to the bloodhound. In 1935, the Basset Hound Club of America was organized in the United States. The Basset Hound was recognized by the AKC in 1885 and the first listed Basset is named, Bouncer. First, let's look at the pros. Basset Hounds can be wonderful dogs for apartment living. Calm, playful, friendly and good with kids. They are social, good-natured breed not only with people, but also with other dogs and cats. Bassets do not require a lot of grooming and are easy to maintain. Exceptional tracking dog. Enjoy being around people and great with other dogs. Basset hounds are good family dogs with an easy-going and laid-back personality. Now, let's take a look at the some cons. Running away, oblivious to your calls, when an interesting scent catches his attention. Slobbering, snoring and drooling. Bassets are stubborn and can be difficult to train. Have a tendency to go wandering off may need to keep on a leash. Prone to obesity, Bassets require regular exercise to stay in shape and healthy. Slowness to housebreak, Basset hounds drool very frequently and heavy shedder. A distinctive houndy odor and gassiness, flatulence. Interesting facts. The first mention of a Basset dog appeared in La Venerie, an illustrated hunting text written by Jacques du Fouillot in 1585. Basset Hound is loud animal that produces melodious howling, moaning and wailing noise. American President George Washington and Marilyn Monroe were proud owners of Basset Hound. Princess Alexandra of Wales kept these dogs in her royal kennels. In 1882, Basset Hounds were admitted in the Kennel Club in England. Basset is popular among hunters that prefer to walk during the hunt, it cannot run very fast due to its short legs. Basset is descendant of Laconian Hound that was initially mixed with Bloodhound, and later with Artesian Norman. The February 27, 1928 issue of Time magazine carried the picture of a Basset puppy on the cover. Mr. Jeffries, a Basset from West Sussex, England, holds the record for longest ears measured 11.49 inches. Basset has excellent sense of smell. It has very strong instinct to follow scents and it can easily wander off while tracking some interesting trails. Basset can howl loudly, especially if they are left along for long periods of time. Victoria the Basset Hound was elected co-mayor of Concord, Ontario, in 2011 and her partner was a Great Dane named Nelson. It is believed that to stop their Basset from barking and to make them quiet, the hunters and farmers feed them the stuffed fried cornballs. As soon as Basset would eat these cornballs, they would immediately become quieter and hushed. Basset Hounds are also sometimes referred to as hush puppies. Hush Puppies is a very popular American shoe brand that was introduced in 1958. The Great Mouse Detective, a Disney 1986 film, highlighted a Basset called Toby. Basset hounds are used as advertising logos. The shoe brand Hush Puppies featured a Basset and named him Jason. A very popular cartoon character created by Tex Avery in 1943, Droopy is also a Basset hound. Basset became more popular during the reign of Emperor Napoleon III who had bronze sculptures of his beloved Bassets made and exhibited at the Paris Salon. Basset is lazy and stubborn and its training is always a challenge. However, properly trained Basset shows excellent results in the competitions in agility and obedience. Basset easily gains weight and it can suffer from hip dysplasia, bloat, von Willebrand disease, glaucoma and ear infections. Appearance 
They are famous for their long, low-set ears, and mournful and sleepy eyes. A basset's short legs are the result of a type of dwarfism called achondroplasia. They are mostly available in the following colors, black and tan, brown, gray, red, tricolor, and white. Basset can reach 11 to 15 inches in height and 40 to 65 pounds of weight. Those who exceed 15 inches 38 centimeters, from its shoulder blade are considered disqualified from confirmation events. Basset Hound gives birth to 6 to 8 puppies on average. Basset has an average lifespan of 12 to 13 years. Grooming. A basset doesn't require a lot of grooming from their owners to look good and tidy. Their coat is needed to be brushed twice every week so as to remove extra loose hair from their body. It's important to properly clean their large ears on a regular basis so that any ear infections or diseases are avoided. Their nails should be trimmed whenever necessary and their teeth can be brushed on an occasional basis. For oral hygiene, brush his teeth at least two to three times a week. Shedding. Basset are moderate shedders and are known to shed their fur on an occasional basis. During the shedding season which may come once or twice every year, these pooches can shed profusely. Regular brushing of their coat is extremely necessary to reduce the shedding process to some extent. Bassets are not hypoallergenic canines as they do shed their fur in a moderate manner. They also produce a decent amount of dander that causes an allergic reaction in some people. Cost. On average a Basset puppy will cost $800 in the USA and most puppies can be found between $450 and $1,400. Having a Basset professionally trained is usually recommended and should cost around $150 to $200. Basset require anywhere from $1,400 to $2,650 every year for expenses like grooming, training, food, and health care. In the US, a dog license usually costs between $10 and $20. The cost could be slightly higher if the dog is not spayed or neutered. The price will vary depending on the breeder location, dog's bloodline, color, and age among other things. Prey Drive. Basset can be stubborn with a high prey drive, but they are also loving and affectionate companions. As with all breeds, the Basset thrives with early socialization and dog obedience classes. Exercise and trainability. Training a basset requires a fair amount of patience, persistence, and calmness. These pooches can be fairly stubborn and independent while getting trained. They can easily become disinterested and bored during the training sessions. Owners should try to make the training process more interesting and could keep them well focused and attentive. Never use any harsh training methods with these canines as they are fairly sensitive in nature and could easily get hurt. These pooches enjoy long slow-paced walks in an open area, hence, regular strolls in a park are quite effective. Basset Hound have lowest degree of working, obedience intelligence. According to, The Intelligence of Dogs, by Stanley Corin, Basset Hound is ranked 71. They understanding of new commands 100 to 500 repetitions and obey first command 20% of the time or better. They have basic learning and decision-making skills which allow them to efficiently live and grow in this world. Naturally, bassets are not very well built for swimming in large water bodies. These pooches have short legs and carry most of their weight in front, thus they are not that suited for swimming. But some bassets do enjoy playing in the water. Keep your eyes on your pup, as basset hounds have a strong sense of wanderlust. We recommend having an enclosed yard for them to roam in at all times. Barking. Basset hounds do like to vocalize a lot. These pooches mostly bark when they want to express their feelings or when want something from their family members. They may also bark when they need the attention of their loved ones. Weather and climate. Basset have a mediocre tolerance to heat and high temperatures. They can survive in mildly warm areas, but when it comes to extremely hot regions, these pooches will not be able to adjust. They also require a lot of protection and care from their owners especially during the summer months. Basset hound tolerance to cold is average at best. These pooches are not very well suited for extremely cold and chilly areas. Friendliness. Bassets are highly affectionate and loving canines that are known to extremely friendly and gentle with small kids. These pooches are loved to spend most of their time playing light-hearted games with kids of all ages. These canines are known to mix well with most other household pets and that includes cats as well. It is an awesome breed for those people who want to raise a dog and a cat at the same time. Bassets are immensely affable and kind to other dogs as well. 
These pooches love to meet new canines and are happy to make new friends. They have great social skills and they take almost no time in getting along with other dogs. These pooches are immensely cordial and friendly with strangers and always excited to meet new people. Adaptability. Bassets are known to adjust really well to the apartment lifestyle. They don't have high exercise needs and they mostly remain inactive and relaxed inside their homes. Still, it is important to keep them adequately exercised so that they can remain happy and contented. Basset can be a pretty decent option for a pet to the novice of first-time owners. They are highly sociable, friendly, affectionate and gentle canines that are known to warm and cordial with almost everybody. These pooches can suffer from separation anxiety if they continuously are kept alone for an extended period of time. This can lead to the development of various bad habits such as furniture chewing, incessant barking etc. Watchdog. Basset hounds are not known to make good guard dogs. These pooches don't have the right amount of aggression and athleticism that is required to be a great guard dog. Bassets are highly friendly and kind to the strangers and they are known to trust everyone very easily. Drooling. Bassets are known to be heavy droolers and these canines tend to drool at all times. Drooling is at its worst after eating meals and drinking water. As the basset hound eats, he produces saliva to help soften and digest the food. Conclusions. If you are planning to bring home a basset or are a proud owner of this breed, you have made a wise decision. If you're looking for a pooch that can protect you and guard your home, then a basset might not be the right breed for you. If you're fastidious housekeeper who can't stand drool, a basset is not the best choice for you. Have you had any experience with basset hound? Tell me in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.